G'day guys, I'm Biggest Kev, welcome to my channel and today I'm back at the creek, I'm back at the Rocky Creek um, where I I took that sample but it's further up the hill, I've come in through the bottom so when I come to this creek last time in one of my later, later videos I was up the top and I had to climb over the barbed wire fence, this time I've come down below the escarpment, coming this way. It's a, it's a nice looking creek. It, it look, looks really good um, for holding gold. And just over to my right, on the banks, there's some old um, timer diggings, only shallow diggings. So they've been scratching around here. And uh, anyway, I'm gonna get my gear together and I'm gonna go back up the top and um, dig that boil hole out finished digging that boil hole out I was expecting water here but there's no water and we've had quite a bit of rain in the last week but um, yeah it's it, it's not flowing so that's all right I'll take samples take them home we'll pan them out together and see if I'm onto something here because I'm pretty I'm pretty I'm, I'm about 90 percent sure that that gold I got on, on my last um, my last outing here was was from that boiler hole yeah anyway guys I'll do the big trek up the hill and uh, yeah and we'll see if this creek has gold in it and when I come back I'll take samples down below here I'll dig amongst the bedrock and take some some samples down here okay guys be back shortly these are shallow diggings here and these weren't dug uh, they weren't dug by the landowner these are just shallow diggings i hope you can make them out with the camera it's just all shallow diggings all in this area here over there another deep hole just up here Another digging there and we're at the bottom of the escarpment now there's your hill up there or your rocky escarpment and down the bottom here on the flat another hole just over there and yeah and the, so they've dug here that's your creek your creeks just over there so on this flat area They've been digging, so they were looking. I just walked from down there up here. I'm puffing and panting. This is steep, man. It's got to be about oh, 70 degrees. 70 degrees slope. Man, there's a creek just there, and I've got to go up here, up there and around a corner to get to that bedrock. Okay, I'm up the top, and this is that that bedrock. That's that blow, uh, boil hole. That I um, that I dug out of, them, and I'm pretty sure the gold came from this boiler hole. But I've got to prove it. I've got to make sh prove it that the gold wasn't in the bucket. So yeah. So I've got to. What I'll do is I'll get all that water out of there, and I'll start digging, dig down deeper, try and get to the bottom of that. I've got um, hammer and cold chisel and all my gear, and. Uh, this crevice here, I've got me crev crevicing tool, so I'll try and scrape that out best I can. Other than that, I'll do some digging around here and I'll just, um, I'll take some samples. Yeah, take a few samples in this creek and then I'll go down the bottom and take samples down the bottom. I've got me big pick and me shovel 
down at the car so I'll I'll take some decent samples down there. Okay guys, I'll get back to you. Okay, I've cleaned out the boiler hole. I've got right down to the bottom and with my bare hand I dug out the last of the dregs. There's a little bit of sand left in the bottom but I've got about oh, 98% of what's in that hole. It's all in the bucket. There it is guys. Now what I'll do, this crevice, I'm going to clean that out as best I can. Collect out the material out of there. And then I might make the trek down the bottom. And I know where there's a dam. I'll go to the dam and we'll pan this material out. And see if I was right or if I was wrong. Okay guys, I'll get back to you. Okay, I've got my crevicing tool, there it is, and I'm scraping out this crevice here, getting all that material, all that material there, get as much as I can out of there, and I'll add it to the rest of the material in the bucket. Okay guys, I'm back down at the bottom of the creek now, um, I'll take you for a walk, I'll just show you along the creek and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to dig a few test pans, obviously I've got no water here so I can't pan it, so I'll take it home, but I know where there's a, uh, the farmer's dam, so I'll go over to the farmer's dam and I'm just going to pan that one bucket, that material that I dug out of that boil hole in the crevice I, I'm going to pan that out while I'm here the rest of it I'll take home and do it home okay guys we'll have a look along the creek shall we now the creek's not very wide it's only narrow but if you look in the bottom here it's just full of river stones just all full of river stones and gravel. River stones and gravel. Exactly what you want for when you're looking for gold. All we need now is the gold. So I'll go up on the bank here and I'll just show you what's happening here. We've got two, the um, creek up there where it comes down from the escarpment, it splits into two creeks. So we've got one over there on the left, comes down into here, and then we've got the other one on the right that comes down through here and meets up here. And then, uh, look at this, just drops down into this big hole here. But um, when you get a lot of rain, a lot of water racing down through here, um, I don't think it'd be much chop digging around in this spot here. We've got to find a spot where where the um, water flow drops a bit, which would probably be about here, where this flat is. Maybe here. Maybe just here. We've got this big rock here, and then we've got this bit of a hole here. Yeah, so I might get my shovel and pick, and I might come and dig a hole just right here, and, uh, behind this rock here. Yeah, I think so. And then I'll just walk up the creek a bit more up here in amongst all those rocks there's a big piece of bedrock just up there that might be worth looking at and I'll just take a few random um, samples I'm not going to keep them separate I'm just going to throw all the samples in the one bucket and when I get home I can um, classify them down and then pan it all out and see what we get so there it is there guys, you can see the bedrock, I'll zoom in for you, you can see the bedrock just up there, and you can see the water that comes down from up higher, comes down through there, exposes all that bedrock, 
and it also goes up through there. There's another gully up through there. That's where the boil hole is up, up the top there. And that comes running down through there into this creek. And then you've got, also got water coming down from up there, coming down into this creek. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'll get back to you when I've got a couple of samples. Okay, there's an outcrop just here. This is another section of the creek. It comes down this way and hits this corner. You can see the crevices in the granite. Another good crevice just here. So, it's all bedrock down in there. But like I said before, where the where the bedrock's exposed like that, it's the water's just washed any gold away. So I've got to find the spots where the water slows. It goes right up there past my car, this creek. Not a very big creek, but if those samples hold gold, it's worth coming back to. And I'll just show you up above. There's plenty of quartz in the granite. Look at all this quartz. There's quartz in amongst the granite and some of the other rock I think is like a sandstone. And there's just a, a track here where the, where the kangaroos, this is a kangaroo race where the kangaroos run down every day for the last, I don't know, hundreds of years. And there's just all this uh, white quartz scattered everywhere here, all over the ground here. So I've got my monster. I'll get that and I'll have a swing here for, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. Check this out, guys. Creek comes racing around. This is an inside bend where I'm standing racing around there, hits that tree, the base of that tree, you can see all the leaves have been pushed up where the water was racing through. And just here, look at that, bedrock. A big slab of bedrock. Yeah, and I'm up on the high side of the bend. So, um, I'm not going to worry about doing it today until I've tested these, panned out these samples I've taken, but this would be a good spot to come back to. Just have a dig around here on this side of the bed, bedrock and, and on the other side. Yeah, cool. Well, I had a go with the Monster. And... I've got a 22 bullet. And I've got this iron, iron pebble. Yeah, so, um, and it's given off ferrous, non-ferrous signal. So that's why I kept it. And uh, I'll crush it when I get home and just have a look. You never know, there might be a piece of gold in there. Okay, guys, I'm back home and I'm going to put all this material that I dug out of that boil hole and that crevice that I cleaned out, I'm going to just put it all through this classifier, classify it down, and then I'm going to pan it out. I'll get back to you when I'm panning. Okay, pan number one of the material from the boiler hole and the crevice because I, I just fixed that material. I only had the one bucket with me, so I just threw it all in the one bucket. But that's all right. I, I just want to. I'm second guessing myself, guys. I just want to make sure there is there is gold in that in that creek, and I didn't. 
for some reason contaminate the bucket. Uh, I don't think I did because I always wash the buckets out after I finished. Every time I finished uh, with using them, I always rinse them out. So anyway, we'll soon find out if, with this material. Got another another bucket of material there, um, which I took some samples out of the out of the creek in a few different spots down the bottom down the bottom of the escarpment. Okay, guys, let's see if we get some gold. Black sand there, no gold. Oh no, that's not looking good. No gold. I'll have a look under me jewel and see if there's any fine stuff. It's not looking good guys, I just did the second pan, nothing. I couldn't even see any fine specks in the black sand with the uh, with the jeweler's loop. So this has got me worried now. Oh, I've got enough for another couple of pans of this and then I've still got that stuff that I picked up from below the uh, escarpment in the creek. So I've still got that to, to go through but I really wanted to get some gold out of this material because that's where I got it from before, from the boiler hole. But um, now I'm starting to think that the, that the sample was contaminated somehow. I hope I'm wrong. Okay, let's have a look at this one. Hopefully we can pull back a piece of gold. Because um, what I got out what I got out of that sample when I was out at that creek last time, that was that was um, good gold. There were some nice pieces. But uh, I'm not seeing any in this sample. Which makes me think that that sample must have been contaminated. Man, might be back to the drawing board. Okay, I'll get back to you with the last pan. Okay, here we are with the last pan. The last pan of the material from the boiler hole, and so far nothing. Um, if I don't get any gold out of this pan, that means that somehow I've contaminated the sample. There must have been there must have, must have been some gold in that in that bucket that I put this material in. That's the only thing I can think of. The pan was clean. Oh, doesn't that break your heart? Okay, I'll keep this in the, in the pan, and I'll just we'll pan this back, guys. I hope you get something out of this. Otherwise, my dreams have been crushed. My dreams have been crushed. Nothing. Nothing like what I got out of that other sample. So, that sample that I had that fine gold that I had in that last. Um, video when I went to that creek somehow that sample got contaminated yeah okay guys I'll get back to you okay guys pan number one of the material that I got um, I dug this out of the creek at the bottom of the escarpment so I dug down as far as I could in amongst all the rocks and gravel and that and uh, yeah and just oh, I've got about a quarter of a bucket of material so yeah um, 
I'm very disappointed about that, guys. I, I took the black sand that was in the pan from from that material that I dug out of the boiler hole. Uh, the black sand that was in the left over in the pan, I took it up to the house and put it underneath the, mac the microscope and I only saw one speck. I saw one speck of gold. I took a photo of it, so I'll show you. But um, I don't know, I don't know what's going on. Um, I can't see how I could have contaminated the bucket, but either I did or... Does anybody know how the boil boiler hole works? Could, could the gold have come down later and settled on top in the first... Um, in the top layers of the dirt? Could that happen? And no gold at the bottom, but gold um, washed down the creek at a later time and settled in, in that hole, in the top of that hole. Is that could that have happened? Let me know in the comments, guys, what you think. Or did I just mess up? Anyway, let's have a look at this material. See if we can see any gold in this stuff. What I'll do, I'm going to snuff up all this black sand that's left in the pan and I'm going to run it all under the microscope. I can't see any gold in that at the moment, but I just want to know if there's fine gold in there, so it'll tell me if there's gold in the creek. Okay, I'll get back to this with another pan, guys. Okay, pan number three. And uh, nothing so far, guys. I haven't seen any specks in the pan. So, so far it's a microscope job, and uh, if that's the case, then I'm more or less I'm back to the hit and miss creek scenario. Let's have a look guys. See if we can get a, see if we can get a speck. Nothing. Not like the other day when I went out there and I dug that boiler hole out and I only took the um I only took a couple of inches off the surface of that boiler hole because it was um, jam-packed solid. I couldn't get any more. You know, I couldn't dig anything else out of it. But now I've cleaned it out. And um, yeah, one speck. That that's not right. Okay, guys, I'll finish this bucket off. We'll get back to the la with the last pan. Okay, guys, pan number six, and uh, it's not looking too good. I'm I'm seeing a couple of specks under the microscope, but that's about it. Um, uh, sorry, under the jeweler's loop. I haven't looked under the microscope yet. But I'll do that. I'll, I'm snuffing all, all the black sand up, so... I'll, um, I'll run that under the, under, the jeweler's, uh, under the microscope and just see how, uh, how many specks I can, I can count. Yeah, I did see some. I saw about four, about four specks, but that's that's exactly the same as a hit and miss creek. So I haven't I haven't gone any I haven't advanced any with this creek by the looks of things so far. It's just got me puzzled. Those specks that I got in the first sample when I when I went to that creek, they were big pieces, you could see them in the back of the pan. Um, but now Nothing like that. And stay tuned guys to the wrap up because um, I've got some mail. I hope you can see that. It's a, it's a bit of a shadow.
Yeah, so in this black sand there's actually some fine gold, but it's not really what we want. I want some of those big specks. Yeah. Okay, guys. I'll see you at the wrap up. Well, guys, that was a bit of a bit of a mess, one at the a hiccup. Um, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Um, when I went out there oh, a couple of weeks ago, when I took that sample in, in that same creek up on that on that um, escarpment, and I, I cleaned the top of that boil hole off. Um, yeah, uh, and I panned. You saw me pan it out. I, and I, I don't salt. I, I don't do that because it's pointless. It's, it's not right. It's not what I'm about. spot that I could mine, or not mine, but I can I can keep going back to, and I thought I was onto it, I thought that Rocky Creek, that was the one, but I don't know, what do you think, could the gold have washed down later and settled on top, and the top layers in that boiler hole, or should the gold have been right down the bottom, no, I'm thinking the gold should be at the bottom of the boiler hole, but who knows, have any of you guys dug a boiler hole and found the gold on the surface but not on the bottom? That, that's what I want to know. Yeah. Um, I will keep going back there and have another look. Uh, I'm going to I'll put up some photos of the gold that you can see with a microscope. There is some fine gold in there, but it's not what we want. We want that bigger stuff that, like I've got in that pan and that, that first time I went there. Yeah. Anyway, just getting away from that, I've got some mail guys and I've got some mail from outer space. It's come from the UK, but the contents has come from outer space. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean. And it was sent to me by Colin. I'll just bring it down here so you can see. And thank you very much, Colin. I appreciate you, mate. I appreciate all, all you guys. I want to show you the bag, mate. I don't know if it's the... Um, the guys at the at the mail mob that opened it up, but it was um yeah, there was a bit of a hole in here. That's how it how it came in the post. Maybe they stuck a microscope in there uh, and had a look around. Yeah. Anyway, this is what Colin has sent me from the UK. He sent me some meteorites, guys. Meteorites. I've never ever seen a meteorite before. Well. If you haven't either, you're about to. What's going on here? You're getting all stuck up. Rightio. Meteorites. Check these out. Oh, hey, that, that one there's a beauty. Gee, they're heavy. They, guys, they are super heavy, these things. It's just like a big chunk of, of molten metal, molten steel. That's one there. You can see the shiny, the shiny bit on there. The sun might not be better. You probably can't see properly. There we are. That's one of them. That's in my hand. I've never ever seen or felt a meteorite before in my life. Now I have. That's a meteorite, guys. I'll show you the other ones. Here's three more, smaller ones. I hope you can see those. Can you see those little shiny silver spots on them? Little spots of metal. They look cool. I reckon I might be able to make some pendants up out of these coal. Colin's had a bit of shine on the back of those, so you can see the metal. That one there's a beauty, that one there's really super shiny. Yeah, and there's a few other little ones there, but I'll take photos of them, guys. Set these up again, so you can see me. Meteorites, and there's four, five, six, seven, eight. He sent me eight, eight meteorites, guys. What am I going to do with them? I'll have to think about it. Um, I 
can't sell them because I'll get in strife. And when this video goes up and the powers that be see these meteorites in my video, I'll probably have the men in black knocking on my front door. Um, because in Australia, meteorites that land in Australian soil belong to the, the government of Australia. So these are from the UK soil. So I guess I'm all right to keep them. And what I'll end up doing, see there's a couple of smaller ones here. I'll take photos anyway, guys, I'll show you. Now look, this one here looks just, well, both of these, they just look like steel when it's been melted. That's what they look like. Yeah. I'm not saying that's what they are. They, these are meteorites. If, if you look on Colin's channel, I'll put it up here. And you can go and check out his site. And Colin is just full on into meteorites. He goes out and finds them where he lives in the UK. Goes out with a metal detector. And he finds meteorites. And I'll give you an idea of the price of these things, right? I didn't know there was, there was, um, I knew they were valuable, meteorites. I didn't know there was a gauge on the price value. Well, there is, apparently. Some meteorites are worth more than others. But a good meteorite is worth somewhere between $5,000 and $10,000 a gram. Yeah, a gram, not an ounce, a gram. Five and ten thousand dollars a gram, but that's for the what they call the rare ones, a rare meteorite. How did they figure that out? I don't know. Anyway, so I've got all these meteorites, guys, and um, I'm going to give them out to some of you guys. What I'll do, I'll probably, I'll get you to guess the weight of them or something like that, and, and if you get close enough to it, I'll send it out to you. Yeah, that's what I'll do with these. Thank you very much, Colin. Um, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate you sending me these. This is that's really cool of you. Yeah. And um, I'm going to cut some rocks up and uh, I might cut them and polish them one side and I'll put them in a box and I'll send them to you. Yeah. That, they'll be Australian rocks too. Isn't it? Hopefully rocks that are only found in Australia and I'll send them to you and uh, yeah, you can put them on your mantelpiece, mate. Anyway, guys, sorry, no gold again. I know, I know. I might have to go back to hit and miss. At least they were big. In the hit and miss, they were only far and few, but they were big pieces. Okay. Cheers. Thank you for watching my, my channel, guys. Thank you for subscribing. Take care out there. Be good. And I'll see you on the next one. And I'll... Um, I'll make up a competition. I'll give away some of these meteorites to you guys. Okay, bye.